white and blue. His head's white and blue. This morning we were set up at the top over there and we were calling out some turkeys early this morning they were gobbling back at us. So they figured they were on their way but we don't think the turkeys wanted to cross because there was a big creek. So um, at like around 7 o'clock we decided to get up and so we saw a strutter down here with two hens and so we came down that hill as fast as we could to get set up over here and cross the creek. And by the time we got down here, they were gone. So we decided just to sit there and just call at them, and they never answered. So finally, my dad got out some kind of other call we hadn't used before, and he called at them, and we heard them up where we were this morning. So we turn around, and we see them up at the top up there, and they're a goblin. There's about four of them. And so they come down that hill as fast as they could to our decoys we had set up. And I was a 45 yard shot, and I shot him right here. So Lauren done an awesome job. Um, persistence. She she's one of the most persistent kids I ever hunted with. My one of my favorite turkey hunting buddies. Uh, no qualms about getting up early, coming out here and tromping. She's hunted four days to kill her bird, and she stayed with it. Never wanted to quit, and that's what you have to do to be successful in the turkey woods. Um, is persistence and patience. Uh, persevere and uh, everything worked out right. Um, unorthodox methods of, of where we was at, the turkeys actually came downhill, so they will come downhill if they want to. That's the key. This morning we was set up bad. Uh, we had a creek in between us and the bird, so we tried to make a move as she told you and it just didn't work out right. And then these here come to your original setup. Just crazy. We heard a lot of birds this morning, had a real good time. We want to thank the landowner for uh, allowing us to come out and hunt on his ground. Uh, I want to thank the NWTF for, for reinducing the turkeys and the Illinois DNR. Um, gobble, gobble, boom, starting off good. Uh, Luke and them got one yesterday. We got one today. My season starts tomorrow, and I hope I have a little better luck than we've had these past four days. But I tell you what, these birds are just, they're acting very weird, but I think it's just some of the weather and, and everything. So. Until next time, on the Edge Outdoors, Quaker Boy Game Calls, the Turkey Slayer, Lauren Phillips.